Hello, you're watching Park City Television. I'm your host, Chelsea, and I'm joined by Will Westrate today with Park City Anglers, and we are fly fishing along the Mid-Provo River. It's a beautiful day today, and we're talking about tips that you need to know when you hit the river. And this time, we're going to be talking about how to handle the fish when you actually catch it, right? Which with these guys, you can be certain that you're going to catch a fish. We there's a lot of fish in the river, so that helps. It, it certainly does. So in that moment when we've got it, what happens when we're just doing a catch and release situation? Uh, obviously, this is a predominantly a catch and release river, so we mm -hmm. really like to take care of our fish. We like to handle them correctly. Uh, we use special nets that have our rubber. They don't really hurt the fish. Uh, kind of the old style net, which was kind of rope tied together. Uh, a lot injured a lot of fish. The new rubber nets are very fish friendly. Uh, when we get the fish in the net, we will put four fingers underneath the belly of the fish and we will kind of hold them in the water. And when he, we feel him relax, we will just kind of, we won't squeeze the fish, but we will lift him up. Mm -hmm. Then we can get the hook out of his mouth, which uh, either we can do right with the hand or use one of our tools, our hemostats. Uh, the big thing is, is we like to only keep the fish out of the water for about 30 seconds. So if it takes you longer to get the hook out, it'll stress the fish. We like you to put them back in the water, let them sit in the water for 20, 30 seconds again, and then pull them back out. It'd be the same as if we took you held your head underwater for 30 seconds. You know, about at 30 seconds, you'd okay. want you to take it in perspective. You'd want to yes. take a breath. So <laughs> I think you would. Yeah, we don't want to stress the fish. Once he's released uh, from the hook, we like to put him back in the water. We'll face him upstream and you can just relax your hand and you'll feel him start to swim and you can release your fingers and he will swim right out of your hand. Very good. That's easy enough, right? That, it's easy <laughs> enough. All right, it's Will Westrate with Park City Anglers. Once again, we're here fishing the Provo River. Be sure to check out more tips with fly fishing on Park City Television.